This video is sponsored by Omaze. That was the worst acting I think I've ever seen. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah, I'm your voice teacher. If you're new here, I am a vocal coach. I make vocal coach reacts videos specifically to TV shows, movies, musical episodes. And today we're watching Glee. Welcome, so glad you're here. If you wanna join the fun and become part of the Hannah Hive, don't forget to subscribe while you're here. If you wanna see more of me online, you can find me over on TikTok and Instagram. TikTok, I'm usually in just a silly goofy mood. I'm making lots of different things. Sometimes I make hair tutorials, sometimes I make thirst traps, and sometimes I make vocal coach reaction you never know what you're gonna get from me over there and that's why it's exciting please check out my patreon patreon.com slash hannah bales check out some of the perks that i have if you want to support me as a creator if you want to get feedback on your voice if you want to see extended episodes the longer version the first draft that i can't post on youtube because it's way too long you can sign up to support me as a creator and you can see those longer videos and if you're looking for private lessons please check out my website i have a studio of fabulous teachers that will give you the same technique and the same positivity that you would get from me if i were able to teach all of you, which I wish I could. Virtual hug. And you can check out my singing course, Reclaim Your Voice, if you want to learn from me at your own pace. Okay, that's enough. I almost said, okay, bye. <laughs> Today, we're reacting to Glee, season three, episode 21. This is Nationals. This is the end of season three, so there's going to be a lot that I'm like a little lost on, but apparently this has the best songs, so you guys told me that I should be watching this one next. I'm excited. I already reacted to the first episode of Glee, which didn't really have as much singing as I thought it would, and I was kind of bummed about that. So hopefully this has more singing, more songs that I can talk about. Before we jump into the video, I'm gonna pass the mic to Hannah on a different day to talk about today's sponsor. Hi. Hannah on a different day here in a new location to tell you that this video is sponsored by Omaze. Omaze is an online fundraising platform that raises money for nonprofit charities through sweepstakes experiences, offering you the chance to win once in a lifetime experiences and prizes and support nonprofit charities around the world. Imagine this, you wake up in a 6,060 square foot mansion surrounded by lush greenery. You grab a cup of coffee and walk onto your terrace overlooking your backyard pool breathing in the fresh South Miami beach air. Doesn't that sound amazing? Or maybe, instead of the mansion, you would prefer to have $1.8 million in cash? Hmm? It's almost too good to be true. Except it's not. With Omaze, every donation supports Make-A-Wish America, the foundation that grants game-changing experiences for children with critical illnesses. So your support in the Miami Dreamhouse giveaway could help fuel future wishes to potentially win a $2.6 million Miami Dreamhouse or $1.8 million in cash and support Make-A-Wish America. Go to omaze.com forward slash Hannah Bales. I used to not watch the recap because I'm no bitch. But then it just left me like really lost. Sometimes funny lost, but sometimes just like Hannah do some research lost. So I'm gonna watch the recap. Let's see if we can like find out what the heck is going on. Now they're headed to Chicago to compete for a national championship. She choked at her Nyata audition and literally all she's talked about for three years is New York, Broadway. <laughs> this recap is really funny. I like the way that it's put together. Okay, okay. So yeah, at the beginning, it was just a small group of students. Now they're going to nationals. This is really exciting. Rachel choked at her audition. Why does that make me happy? Sometimes you need to be humbled a little bit. We are entering the Hunger Games of show choir competition without one of our most powerful voices. Oh Control my God. What? What is she wearing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like, it's like a, st oh my gosh. What were those? Oh, like newsboy caps. That's what they were called. Let's find it. Okay, it's like this. These were really popular in like, I don't know, 2010 or something. And it's like made out of straw. That's horrible. I'm very upset. I'm very upset about Quinn's outfit. I really like Jane Lynch though. Quinn, you're stepping in. No, no, no. The trouble tones need you. Trouble tones? I don't want to miss it. Amen to that, sister. Fill that bathtub with ice and see if we can't get your ambient body temperature back down to normal. <laughs> we all have our marching orders. Let's do it. I'm so excited. What if we don't win? What's going to happen with those kids? It's a competition. That's true. What if they don't win? What's gonna happen to them? What's gonna happen to you, okay? He's a little too invested in these kids. A little too invested in the Glee Club, honestly. But will they're ready. You've made them ready for three years. But what if it wasn't enough? What a drama queen. What if it wasn't enough? What if we go to a competition and we lose? <laughs> What a competition is. Schuster? Schuster? Is that his last name? That's what a competition is, you doof. Oh. He's studying for geography while we're trying to rehearse. It's bogus. He's doing geography while we're practicing our glee club dance. These are huge problems, everybody. Gigantic. End of the world. If you are not giving this everything you've got, I will go all lima heights on your sorry asses. That's right, Santana. There is so much passion in this room. You guys really want this. I'm like 
<laughs> kind of bored. I'm like, oh, boo hoo. They, they're acting like this. Wow. Okay. My main side's coming out. They're just acting like these are like end of the world problems. And I know that nationals is like a big deal, but this is so dramatic, but it is also really funny. I was told that the first episode was like supposed to be like satire, but then they started taking themselves seriously. This still kind of feels like satire. What is it? Tell me, Glee fans, explain yourselves. I love her nationals dress. That is so cute. Nice to see you too, Jesse. Wait, hold on. Okay, first of all, love interest? Okay, is that a love interest? If he is, is he 30? Because he does not look like a teenager. What's what's going on there? Tell me more. He's very handsome though. I promised them that I would reboot the program. I'll be humiliated. I get that these people aren't actually teenagers. You know, I know that they're adults, but this gentleman really looks like an adult. Like he really looks like he's 30. I mean, he's a hottie, but come on. What, is he supposed to be 17? No, there's no way. My God, it has been five minutes and there are still credits on the screen. I do not care about this. <laughs> I mean, show me the executive music producers another time. Like this is ridiculous. It's right over the handsome man. So you guys are gonna do great today, even though we're definitely gonna beat you. Oh. They're so flirty. I kind of like it. Yeah, everything's good. I'm gonna go get ready. It was really good to see you. Me too. Oh, they're dating. What's his name? Mm, uh, uh, I can't remember. What's his name? The guy. The guy that in the first episode, Schuster tried to, like, he planted weed on him or something. That one. And walked in on him in the shower singing. Ooh, man, that was really creepy. I'm remembering now. Yikes. Heard you two are getting married. Yeah. I'm sorry, what? I heard you two are getting married. They're in high school and they're getting married. What in the world? You want to bet me that your dork club is going to outdork all the other dork clubs in the country? Wow. Wait a minute. That money was supposed to be for our honeymoon. These high schoolers are so dumb. Maybe they shouldn't be getting married. We're going to be perfect and then we're going to get married and I'm going to smash this glass. They shouldn't be getting married. That's a song by Hannah Bales. I'll put it on Spotify. I can't get over this. I can't get over the fact that they say that they're getting married. What? How? This is the worst thing I've ever heard and they, they're probably going to lose, huh? I feel like that's foreshadowing. <laughs> I'm done with my iced coffee. Okay, when I was in choir in junior high, we also did this, the black shirt and then the colored tie. We had black dresses. It was so cool then. It was so cool in like the late 2000s. Hold on. I just got like seven Amazon packages. You guys know that I just moved into a new place and I ordered a lot of things online and they come on the same day and then it looks like I'm a compulsive shopper because there's a big package pile of packages on my porch and maybe I am not something I want to unpack oh no <laughs> they're wearing short sleeve black button down shirts oh oh that's so bad at least the other guy like rolled it around his bicep so it like looked good on his arms what what the freak is this guy's name it's like I feel like it's right on the tip of my tongue and I can't remember it's something is it like Zach no why did the name Creek come into my mind that's not even name oh my gosh it's right on the tip of my tongue let's call him Creek until I figure out what his name is Figgins gives away the the teacher of the year award but I don't think any of us have to wait to see how we feel about that. Darren, he's so cute. Yeah. Darren and I are mutuals on TikTok, so we're basically best friends now. I know you weren't planning on doing a show <gasps> circle without me. Mercedes! Ooh, she looks so good. I think Mercedes was my favorite from the first episode. Yes, let's hear some singing. Lindsay Lohan. Oh, hey, Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> Perez Hilton. Okay. Martin Vaughn. Glee did really well in season three. They've got Lindsay Lohan and Perez Hilton. Also, why are the judges in the middle of the audience? Don't they have a table? How are they going to hide their notes? That's very strange. I'm very excited about this. And I just want to hear them sing. We're 10 minutes in. I haven't heard any singing. Tonight, yeah, baby, tonight, oh my yeah, gosh, they're on baby. a lift. Damn, Naya. Well, we know we both I'm really tonight. excited. This is really fun. Ooh, I like that move. Okay, I get this all the time that I look like Quinn Fabray. What do you guys think? Is it true? I don't really see it, but sound off in the comments, everybody. Tell me. I love Mercedes so much. Oh, 
They sound so good. Okay, I have a couple things to say. First of all, this just is very high budget. Like they had a lift, they have chandeliers. Costumes look great, so they've got good funding. That's all I have to say about that. Second, half of the choreography is like really cool and the other half is like very strange. Like this move that they're doing right here. Like they were just like doing these big, I, I don't know, I'm not a choreographer, but it feels a little weird. Let's talk about the vocals. I'm on the edge. They're all the way up there. That is mixing territory and it is fantastic. I'm on the edge all the way up there and Mercedes, well, all of them are doing really well. I keep hearing different voices pop up and I'm not exactly sure who is singing at different times, but specifically Mercedes and Naya are killing it up there. They're mixing their chest voice and their head voice together so that it's not, I'm on the edge where it's very head dominant. It has the strength of their chest voice, but it's still really healthy. I like it a lot. That was definitely like a pitch perfect move, like the Bard and Bellas when they like leaned back and they, they did like did that thing. Oh man, I'm not, okay, I'm going to stop trying to dance. It just looked like pitch perfect anyway, moving on. Wait, was Leah not in that one? She didn't come. Stop it. This is your moment. Three years in the making. Forget about everything else. That's like really aggressive. I don't know who she's talking about, but she didn't come. Stop it. <laughs> This is your moment. Forget about anyone else. It's like, okay, geez, some validation would be nice. But we know that their relationship is not going to end well. Like, they're not getting married. Okay, this is the dumbest thing ever. Also, she had way more chemistry with that other guy than she does with Creek. Whatever his name is. Finn! That's his name! Weirdly enough, I feel like Creek was on the right track because Finn, like a fish. Anyway, I'm not gonna try and justify that. Leah, impress me. There were nights when the wind was so cold. I love this song. This is actually one of my go-to karaoke songs. Drying up forever. Okay, I'm so excited. Uh, Leah's already killing it, but think about the bottom note. Drying up forever. She got so whispery there that we totally lost that bottom note, so. Hannah B's out there. Say it with me. She needs more chest voice. Yep, she needs to be more connected into her chest voice. I finished crying in the instant that you left. Okay, yes. And I can't remember where or when or how. And I banished every memory you and I had ever made. Okay, I have chills. Oh my God. When you touch me like this. Perez Hilton looked impressed. It's all coming back. Oh, she was waiting for Whoopi Goldberg to show up. I don't know what character she plays, but I would love to see Whoopi Goldberg at any of my performances. Okay, sorry. I didn't want to interrupt her because it was so good. Listen to the belt. A lot of chest voice. Made. made all the way up there. And she's opening up that vowel and she's adding a lot more chest voice. So it's a strong belt. It's not 100% chest voice or she would be shouting. So she's still mixing her chest voice and head voice together, but it's very powerful. Damn girl, I, I'm blown away by that, honestly. Okay. Okay, Rachel. Whoa. Okay. So I did not expect to be so impressed. I am actually losing my mind. Can you guys see my goosebumps? <gasps> you can. Do you, <laughs> you see them? I am covered in chills. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we have to go back and listen to this strong mix belt on allow. And then she gets really edgy up here. Oh my God. Rachel. Oh my gosh. I'm I'm losing it. I I am losing it. I'm covered in chills. That's a standing ovation for sure. Well, I remember every little thing as if it happened only yesterday. Hey, Creek sounds great. They sound so good. Whoa, was that Kurt? Apparently his name is not Kirk. It's Kurt. I didn't know. I've been calling him Kirk for a long time. Somebody told me in my DMs, Kurt. Was that him on the top? That was so good. Oh no. Whoever it was, was really good. I like those harmonies. Rachel. Okay, I knew that Leah Michelle was 
good. Everybody knows that. And in the first episode, I was like, damn, look at her. Oh, I also reacted to, I totally have reacted to Morkley. I reacted to her singing Don't Rain On My Parade and I was very impressed. This is insanity. She is so good. She's so good. Listen to just like the depth and power she has in her voice here. Who is she? This is such a jam. They've got to win nationals, right? How is anyone going to top this? Paradise. I cannot believe I did not watch this show in high school. Like, this is, this is incredible. I'm so into this. If you come to mess with my head, don't worry. I'm not going out there. I can't handle it. You gotta move through that fear and expectation. At least that's what real stars do. That was supposed to be sweet, but also like Kirk, that Kurt, that came off like really mean. You gotta move through that fear. At least that's what real stars do. Excuse me? Like a little validation would go a long way in this show, you know? Just say, hey. I hear you. I'm sorry that you're struggling. Of course you're feeling scared. I'm sorry. Any of that? No, it's just buck up. All right, let me get ready. Wow, that didn't take very much convincing at all. Oh my gosh. Let's go to the beach, eat, let's go. Okay, so this is Alex Newell. Alex Newell has stated that they go by all pronouns, but I'm gonna use they, them. I wanted to make sure that I didn't misgender, so. I'll, I'll stick with they. They look fabulous. The earrings, the sparkles. I didn't expect this song with their outfits though. So give me more, more, I can stand, get on the floor, floor, like it's uh, your last chance. You this is interesting choreography. Hands up and touch the sky. I hope that they have a chance to sing a little bit more because this isn't really showing off their voice. Starships oh. were meant to fly. Hands Damn. Up and touch the sky. Higher than any other. <laughs> so funny. I mean, I know they couldn't say, you know, what the words actually are, but the way they just said that, like they were doing like a cheer. Higher than any other. They are really doing a lot of acrobatics. Wow, they are big dancers at this school. I'm getting like Audrey Hepburn vibes from their outfit with the crown and like the black dress. I like it. Acrobatics. They're throwing them around. That's... Too much for me. This is such a bad song to do for a show choir. I really am not a big fan. I mean, this song is a jam, but this, like in a show choir, I don't know. It's just not really working for me. Higher than any other. Meh. That was a lackluster ending. Sing something else, Alex. From Soho down to Brighton, I must have okay, this is what I was waiting for. That death job and blind kid. I'm sorry, go back. That top note. It's so good. I've never heard this song. It's so fun. Plays by sense of smell. Alex, stop. The range. The range on this person. I need to warm up before I try to do something like that on camera. Oh my gosh. I like that. I like that they're using these pinball machines. That's kind of fun. I'm going to have this stuck in my head today. I'm, I'm not doing well. Okay. Yeah, that's that's the winner, that performance right there. Good job, Unique. If you don't love show choir, then what exactly are you doing here, Lindsay Lohan? That was the worst acting I think I've ever seen. Then what exactly are you doing here, Lindsay Lohan? Hey, Perez, really great choices. Like you're making good choices. I love it. I love the vibe. Let's take a couple more takes and like try it in a couple different ways. Like just to see, you know, just to have some extra, extra options. That's me as the director of this episode. So I'm here to support them unconditionally. Let's get Perez, what the F was that yawn? I have never seen anyone yawn where I saw every single one of their teeth. <laughs> like that <laughs> who yawns like that 
that. Just like unhinged his jaw. Like what? <laughs> I'm Jesse St. James, the coach of Vocal Adrenaline. Oh, he's not a high schooler. He's a coach. Wait, how old is he? He and Rachel dated? Hold on. Hold up. I need to find out more. How old is he? Tell me in the comments. What the heck is going on? Rachel's the most talented person I've ever met. If anyone's going to be a star someday, okay. it's her. She'd make an excellent contribution to Neon. Cool story, bro. Oh, that was like funny to say like five years ago. Whatever, I stand by it. And now it's time to announce the winner of this year's individual show choir MVP award from Vocal Adrenaline, Carmel High's Wade Unique Adam. Yay! Totally deserved. Now it's time to announce a winner. Why am I actually nervous? From McKinley High and Okay, wait, did you see how they all like reacted before he actually said McKinley? So they were acting when he said from? From McKinley High and Lana. Guys, anyway. Confetti! It's gonna take so long to clean that up. I'm so happy for them. They did a good job. Oh, Mr. Shu has some like weird baggage with glee. What? Hold on a second. I know that this is like a very exciting emotional moment, but they're slowing everything down in this like very slow, quiet piano music. It's like not really the vibe. Like you're not pulling at my heartstrings. Yeah, that is such a tall trophy. The whole school was in on that joke. <laughs> Kurt is like, I was, I've been waiting for this. This is what I deserve. Yes, thank you. Oh, yeah. ask for consent before you attack someone with kisses. McKinley National Show Choir Champs picture of the coach with the trophy. What? Hey, my best friend's house tonight. Let's bump the beat till baby. This is pretty cute. Don't date me tongue-tied. What? Wait, whoa? What? Oh, they're out. I just reacted to Naya Rivera singing Songbird, so I knew they were together, but I didn't know if they were out yet. That's so sweet. Why are you spilling that everywhere? Oh my god, that's gonna be so sticky. <laughs> First of all, are they trying to have a baby? Is that why she gave him like a weird time to have intercourse card? Mm? Also, like she looks very cute in that nightgown. <laughs> it's also just really funny, but it is very cute. Oh, okay, guys, is that fun? Look at that signature. I need to practice my signature for one day when I sign autographs at a stage door. That is such a big trophy. It is absurdly large. Will it even fit in there? It's taller than Rachel. Thank you. Pleasure. Literally. I just thought, you know, my man is a winner and he deserves to be treated as such. Is he thanking her for the intercourse? And she said, my man deserves to be treated like a winner. Big oof. Last night was well worth the wait. Was that their first time? I don't need to know this much about their sex life. I'm not invested in their relationship, actually. And in spite of the fact that I've been pregnant now for an indeterminate number of months. She's pregnant? You can't tell in these tracksuits. The 2012 William McKinley High School Teacher of the Year Award goes to... Mr. Will Schuster. Why do I not like him? I think I got bad vibes the first episode. Three years ago, I thought I had it all. I was the quarterback of the football team. I was dating the head cheerleader. And then I met you, Mr. Shu. Met in the shower when he walked in on you. I can honestly say that I couldn't have done it without you. Sorry, I, I got distracted. I was on my phone, but now they're singing again, so I'm good. I paid my dues Time after time I've done my sentence Ooh, he's good. But his hair is really bad. He was also the guy in the first episode that was like bullying like everybody and a disabled person in a wheelchair. I'm sorry to say, I don't remember his name. So I don't really like him. I don't like him. Does he like get better? Is he good? Like, is he good now? Should I like him now? Cause I still have bad vibes. I still don't like him. I made a few. Yes, Naya. I've had my chefs and kicked in my- Ooh, damn, Rachel came in strong. We are the champions, my friend. Wow, they rehearsed this so fast. They had like 24 hours notice. Keep on She sounds fabulous, as usual. Ooh, I like those harmonies. I 
I have a couple things to say about that. That really caught me off guard. Hold on. Of the world. Of the world. It's so squeezy. Do you feel that? How his like his vowel is really not open. Also, he like the word. The <laughs> be really mean. The way he says world. Did he like sticks his tongue out when he does it? World. And then he doesn't say duh. I've taken my bow. Yes, Kirk. I've been waiting for you to sing. Curtain calls, but it's been no bed of roses, no pleasure cruise. Ooh, I like Quinn's voice. And we'll keep on fighting till the end. All right, this is pretty sweet. Okay, I like it. It's getting me. I have chills. My gosh okay well was that the last that wasn't the final episode in that season there's one more okay final thoughts i r enjoyed this one way more than i did the first one because there were so many good songs i mean maybe i laughed more in the first one and i had a lot more to make fun of so toss up i need to know guy with like the i don't know the weird mohawk is he good is he still a jerk because he was like a big jerk in the first episode. Finn and Rachel engaged? What? Oh, I need to know. Coach for the other team. How old is he? When did he date Rachel? Because that feels weird to me. I have a lot of questions. Gleeks? Is that what Glee fans are called? Gleeks? Tell me in the comments. I need to know. Also, if you want to request a reaction, please click on the link in my description where I have a form where you can suggest reactions. That's the best place to drop your reactions. I go through the submissions every week. It's a lot easier for me to keep track of than just putting them in the comments. So if you want me to see what your reaction request is, please put it in the form. A big thank you to Omaze for sponsoring this video. To add your support to the Miami Dreamhouse giveaway and support Make-A-Wish America, go to omaze.com slash Hannah Bales. And until next time, I'm Hannah. I'm your voice teacher. And now you're all my students. Please like and subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, follow me on Instagram and TikTok, check out my Patreon and my website for private lessons, and my singing course, Reclaim Your Voice, all with the links in the description. Okay, bye!